Let's recap. Distances become shorter with motion and time slows down. And these effects depend on who is observing them. Einstein knew that space and time are not independent as had been previously thought. Rather, they are different aspects of a flexible four-dimensional totality known as space-time. A reality which changes in relation to a single absolute value, the speed of light. Yet this is not everything. Einstein demonstrated that because of light, other qualities of physics are also relative. The energy of an object is equal to the motion of its mass. This discovery had a significant effect. If an object were to move at a speed approaching the speed of light, its mass would increase to the point where it would become infinite. It would therefore need an infinite amount of energy to attain the speed of light. This means that nothing can reach the speed of light. Einstein's equation explains how the sun converts its mass into energy. It also contains a warning. A small quantity of mass can produce devastating energy. Barely half a gram of mass was enough to destroy the whole city of Hiroshima. Dramatic consequences that would forever haunt the conscience of a pacifist like Albert Einstein. With his theory of special relativity of 1905, Einstein had discovered a fundamental law of the universe, the speed of light. An impassable cosmic limit that gives meaning to reality and reveals the true nature of space and time. A law as fundamental as gravity. The force that keeps planets in their orbit and our feet on the ground. The first force discovered by science thanks to a famous accident that happened over 250 years ago. A young man was sitting under a tree when he saw an apple fall. It was Isaac Newton, and this little accident led him to the most important realization in the history of science. He realized that the force that pulled the apple and the force that moved the planets was the same. With gravity, the sky and the earth were united by a single theory. Newton's and Einstein's theories contradict one another. According to Newton, gravity acts instantly whatever the distance. If the sun suddenly disappeared, the pull on the earth would end and it would leave its orbit immediately. This would mean that the pull of gravity travels at infinite speed. However, the theory of relativity demands that nothing can travel faster than light. If this were the case, it would be eight minutes before the Earth was plunged into darkness after the disappearance of the Sun, as this is the time its light takes to reach us. For ten years, Einstein worked to formulate a theory of gravity consistent with special relativity. And in 1915, he proposed an even more revolutionary theory. The theory of general relativity. Einstein came up with a new concept. Gravity is not a force, but a consequence of the fact that space-time is curved. According to relativity, space-time is not flat because it is bent by the distribution of the mass and energy it contains. The mass of an object determines how space is curved, and space determines the way the mass moves. The trajectory along which objects move on the Earth is produced by the Sun's mass bending space. It is as though the objects are travelling on an elastic surface. This curvature is what we call gravity. According to Einstein, if the Sun disappeared, it would create a perturbation in the fabric of space-time, like a wave on the surface of a lake. We would not perceive the change in our orbit until this wave reached us. Gravitational perturbations travel at exactly the same speed as light. The Newton conflict was resolved. In 1919, the British physicist Arthur Eddington carried out an experiment to prove it. During a solar eclipse, he observed that light from one star deviated as it passed close to the gravitational field of another. 
Einstein had one more proposition to make. Gravity also affects time. The inhabitants of Relative City have got used to a strange phenomenon. They age more quickly at the top of buildings than they do in the street. No one wastes any time. They go up to their offices, get their work done and come back down to ground level again as quickly as they can. Let's see what happens next. Einstein worked out that in the same way as in a train with no windows, we have no way of knowing whether we're standing still or moving uniformly, then in a lift, in space, or in environments with no gravity, we cannot tell whether we're accelerating uniformly or resting in a gravitational field, as we do on the Earth's surface. In other words, the effects of acceleration and gravity are indistinguishable. This phenomenon is known as the equivalence principle. Following the logic of this principle, just as special relativity tells us that the passage of time is different for different moving observers, general relativity predicts that the passage of time is different for observers in different gravitational fields. The stronger the gravitational field, the slower the passage of time. For example, a clock on the surface of the Sun would gain one minute per year compared to a clock on the surface of the Earth. The difference between clocks at different altitudes has very important practical implications. Satellites and aeroplanes rely on Einstein's calculations to work properly.